Now, David Cameron has been in North Africa this week, showing his support for the French military intervention in Mali and warning that the fight against al-Qaeda could last a generation. There is nowhere the bitter, bitter legacy of war is more bitter, is more bitter rather, than Somalia, where for almost two decades, Islamists have been fighting Western-backed governments with massive loss of life. Today, the president of Somalia, Hassan Sheikh Mohammed, who's backed by the UK and US in his struggle against the Al-Shabaab militia, visited London. I asked him whether his country was winning the war against their local version of Al-Qaeda, known as Al-Shabaab. It's too early to say that, but so far the results we are having is very encouraging and the Shabaab is in a, in a, it's almost defeated, we can say. Their command and control has been disrupted. Their income of sources have been taken over. Soon we are expecting that there will not be a front for our Shabaab for our battlefields. But the war against Shabaab will take some time. They, they will melt down back to the society whereby this uh, roadside bomb, uh, suicide bombing, that type of war will continue some time, but uh, the military war now is going to end soon. What have been your thoughts watching the French intervention in Mali? Well, that's, I think, it's a good beginning. Uh, the, the intervention is, 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 is at its right time. It came at its right time. And we believe that they had such intervention come to Somalia at the right time, the disaster that took place inside Somalia or the element of exporting terror to outside world wouldn't have been there. So intervention of Mali is good. What are the links between Al-Shabaab militants in Somalia and the militants fighting in Mali? Are there Somalis fighting in Mali? I can't say there are Somalis uh, uh, involved in the fighting in Mali. Uh, there is a high possibility that there is a link between Al-Shabaab and those who are fighting in in Sub-Sahara, uh, in Mali, and many other parts of Sub-Sahara Africa. But how do you feel about it being foreign-led? Because that wouldn't work in Somalia, would it? Foreign-led intervention can prepare the ground, but it cannot be the ultimate tool that eliminates or eradicates the, the local terrorism inside, inside Mali or in other body. But first and foremost, the, the, the foreign intervention will help to, dis to disrupt the command and control and to train the local forces so that the ultimate defeat can only be made by the local forces. Would you like to see more British forces in Africa, training African forces? Yes, and um, we, we, I think it would, it's a good idea to have uh, more British forces in the African continent, but by doing what they are doing is very important than the numbers or the presence. Training, building the capacity of the local res, res, so, uh, forces, uh, supporting the log logistical elements, uh, equipping and providing the, the, the modern technology. These are the areas that are very important for the foreign forces to be in the continent. Can you give us an indication of how many British-born people there are fighting with Al-Shabaab in Somalia? And cases are, you see, uh, Al-Shabaab is an underground organization. And uh, uh, to know more about what is inside is, is not easy. But you believe it's happening? It's happening. Al-Shabaab is not a Somali forces anymore. They are international. British are there, Americans are there, Africans are there, Asians are there. It's a, it's a multinational uh, evil force in, 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 in Shabab. And so what are you here to say to David Cameron? We are presenting the, our challenges, our proposals for the, for the way forward. We were more focused on the future on different issues in Somalia so that a functioning state institutions and a functioning government will be possible in Somalia soon.